Today, I've got an unbelievable game for you. And not unbelievable in that one of us played extraordinarily well, but the ending was just a bit crazy. And yeah, completely surprise ending. There were actually five great moves from myself in the game. Not, some of them not intentional. You know, I hadn't planned them out. But yeah, five great moves nonetheless and a, a completely wild game. At the end, we're going to go through the game review and there's some really great lessons in terms of looking for forks, especially with knights, because obviously they can be a little bit tricky. Um, and then with the check and a king and queen end game. So yeah, let's get into the game now. We're going to be... Is it white? Black, okay. So let's see what we've got. I'm going to greet with the e5 pawn. Okay, so I'm expecting, I think a knight is going to come out and then try and target this pawn here. Let's, with that in mind, bring out this knight, because now if they bring out that knight, this pawn is hanging. So we'll see what they do. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, that pawn is still hanging. And also... They've really, that's not a good move, because now they want them, They want that knight to move there, but I'm now protecting that square. So they've really not, okay, I was going to say they've really not thought about that, but I also, <laughs> I also left my pawn hanging. So they're obviously targeting this square now. <clears throat> I can just move the knight back here, I believe, to protect that square. Let me just check if there's anything wrong with that. Because otherwise they're going to fork queen and rook. So I think I could also move to this square though, which also targets the bishop. So I think that's actually a better square to achieve the same thing because it protects and also attacks the bishop. So they'll need to maybe push a pawn. I guess they could push this pawn, but I don't know. I think I would choose the, the middle one. And okay. They've left the bishop hanging because that's checkmate, I believe. But it's not checkmate if I push and threaten the knight. Let me check. Is there any problem with that? No. And I don't think they can get this knight to safety and protect this bishop. So I think that's winning a bishop there. Let's see, hopefully I didn't miss something like I did on the opening part. Let's see what my opponent does. Yeah, so they're thinking about it. I'd like to, yeah, free bishop. Let's go. So that's an early lead there. They made a mistake there. I feel like uh, I'm tempted Okay, I just was going to say, I really want to bring, so it's attacking as well, so, okay, maybe not a free bishop, unless I can block, is it better to block with the knight, otherwise I'm going to lose the knight, so if I block with something else, or if I move the king, say if I move the king there, I'm going to lose this knight, so if I block with the knight, they can take with the knight, and there, and then I lose a pawn. Okay, so I think this is damage limitation. This is better because I'll end up losing a pawn rather than losing a knight. So queen may be going to take now. Okay, this I almost just blocked with the bishop, but that would be hanging. And that would give me all sorts of problems. So I think a queen trade is, is basically or offering a queen trade is basically the best thing to do. And let's pre-move that in case they do accept. We'll see what they do. Are they going to accept the queen trade? I'm fine with the queen trade at the moment because we're up on a couple of pawns. Let's carry on developing. Would it be better to castle queen side? Possibly. Let's carry on developing. Pawn structure is not great on the king side because we've lost this f pawn. So they've castled king side. That leaves this pawn, or well, that was actually hanging already. 
So is there any way they could protect that pawn? I don't don't think there is. That pawn is hanging. Let's see if we can take advantage of that. What do we have to be careful of? A pin with the rook is going to be kind of annoying. So I think that pin is coming. If we take though, that's going to protect this square and it's attacking this rook. So I think their idea is to attack the bishop, bring the rook out, and then they can take with the knight protected protected by the rook here. But they're going to have to move the rook first. This square is still protected by my knight. I can now kick the knight maybe. What's the best way to do that? Should I just castle or should I kick the knight? I think let's kick the knight. I don't know what the best move is there. I was tempted to push the pawn and bring the bishop out, but then ah oh, no. I don't know. I literally don't know how I didn't see that. That's exactly what I was doing on the other side. And I didn't see it. Well, that's frustrating, to say the least. So, uh, let's move the king. At least that knight is now trapped. So, that's the plus side. So, I don't know why they're taking long to decide this move, but they're going to take. Now that knight is trapped, so let's push the pawn. Now we can develop the bishop, and once we develop the bishop, then we can attack with the rook once we move the king out of the way. Because that knight is going to die. What can we do here? Let's bring the bishop into action. Maybe rook is coming here to protect. We'll see if that's the case. So we are two yep, we are two points of material down, but like I said, we can now trap the knight and we just need to be careful of has this knight got an escape? We can go here if rook comes here. We do have an escape and that targets this square as well, and then would target the bishop. So let's move out of the way. King moving to the centre because I think this is going to get to an end game, it seems like. If one of us doesn't blunder. So this knight is now trapped and doesn't really have... I don't know why you would waste a move. I think they're just going to leave it there for me to take. Because otherwise they're going to waste a move. Yeah, so they're threatening the... Ah, I'm actually fine with that. I'll let them take it. Maybe you'll see in a second why. If they take the knight, that's actually not good for them because of this skewer. So I don't know if they've seen it yet because I'll take the pawn here and then both of their rooks are going to be skewered. I think they might have just seen it. So inadvertently that was better than I thought from me there. So that's why they've brought this pawn out. Can I threaten to get out of it? No. I can't threaten something more valuable but I can just go here and that gives them the same problem. So that just buys me some time, get the bishop to safety, and then they have the same issue. So that's why they're trying to bring these pawns into play now. What's the best move? Can I, if I go, is there a check that would be useful? Not particularly. I could check here. Would that give me anything? Not really. But I do have a winning pawn move. So let's just do that. Let's just whittle down some more pawns because threatening this pawn and I can take this pawn because if the rook takes, I'll take with the bishop. Okay, they're really insistent on trapping that bishop. Let's think about this though. Mm, yeah, we just have to get that to safety. Horse is now in safety anyway. So they've still got this problem. Well, they don't actually. I can't take this pawn. I could take this one if they hadn't seen it. 
what's the best thing to do here? I'm fine with the trade with the bishops. We'll see what my opponent does. They can't actually move the bishop, so let's trade. And now it's going to be a case of getting my... How can I... Can I skew... Ah, oh, after all that, <laughs> I got the skewer. I, was, I wanted to do that earlier, and then they still lined it up for me. I didn't actually plan... I wish I could say that was completely planned, but that was a little bit good fortune there. So I got the skewer in the end after all. So, yeah, let's now bring the rook in. So we've definitely got an advantage here. We just need to make sure we don't make any mistakes or blunder it. Now, I don't have any checks. Well, I do, but that would be stupid. That would not be good. What's the best thing to do? Maybe... push take with the bishop if they take I'm fine just to trade pieces now so as long as I basically want to get that rook off the board and it's going to be a lot easier so that's my tactic not very glamorous but if we can just trade rooks I'm more than fine with that let's see what my opponent does They're thinking about it. I think they might just push the pawn rather than exchange. After thinking this long, I think that's what they're, uh, yeah, that's what they're considering. They don't want to exchange, but now the other pawn, oh, that's a little bit dangerous. I was going to push the bishop here, but then that pawn is very close to promoting. So I think I should move my king, get my king in the action. This pawn is a little bit dangerous. So target this pawn first. Maybe this one is coming to protect. Yeah. So how can we deal with this? I'd love to get my rook into the action to take these pawns. This pawn is blocking slightly. I think I can just take with the king now. They can't get the rook over because they're blocked by their own king. So I think I can just take this pawn, then that one, and then this pawn chain is going to collapse. So that's why they've moved the king to get the rook over. But if they check me now, I can just take this pawn. And they're going to take my pawn, that's okay. There. I need to now either move the bishop to safety or protect with the rook. I could... Check with the rook first, with the idea of moving the bishop here, attacking the rook, and then I can take this pawn with my rook with a check. That's my <laughs> master plan, at least. They're going to just have to, uh, with this move, they're just going to have to retreat the, the rook out. They could go here, I guess. They can do that too, but mine's a take and a check, so I'm fine with that. We do now have a pass pawn as well. Can we... I'd really like to get this rook off the board, like I said. Is there anything we can do? I don't know, so I'm going to push the king with the idea of rook here to capture this pawn. So, this pawn is safe, protected by this one. Would a check be good here or not? A check would force... Hmm, I don't know. I'm just going to push the pawn. I feel like I should have... Yeah, I should have moved that one. Let's think about this properly now. This is protected by my rook. Let's use the bishop to attack this pawn. We can't lose this with a 
being a bishop up. This is under attack, now protected by my rook. They might move the king with the idea of taking with the rook. Let's now position here, and now I can just push this pawn. King can't really do much about it. I'm... <laughs> I'm fine with the take I almost did and then lost the rook. That was close. So what's the best thing to do here? Let's push. I don't know what the best thing to do here is. If they take... Ah, oh, they're just going to push instead. So now I can... Let's do that. I don't know if that's the right move, but at least it stops the pawn push and it targets the rook. I think it'll be interesting to see the end game here. What was the... You know, what the proper way to do it would have been. So rook is going there. With the idea... Okay, let's push again. So their idea is to push, and now if I take, I'm just going to sacrifice it. <laughs> I don't know how to deal with that otherwise. So now I don't think they can stop the... Mm, there. Now check with the rook. And I think now is probably a good time to offer a rook trade. Is it though? Mm. Is it a good time to offer a rook trade? So if I go there, they take, I take, they push, I push and get a queen. Yeah, so that's fine. It's pre-move because we're low on time. So we just, I don't think I did very well in that end game. I think I managed to scrape by a little bit. We'll see what the ending is going to be. But yeah, so they're going to push their pawn now and we've just managed to hold on with queen, take, and then what would be the right move here, there, and take. And then now, at least if we get timed out, they haven't got any material. So now what we want to do, what's the proper way of doing this? Let's shuffle the king to the edge of the board and then bring the queen in last because we don't want to stalemate. So we bring the king in. Let's go here. And check is fine. there so apologies this might take longer than it should but I need to look at the proper way of doing this but as long as it doesn't end in a stalemate we're fine that's the that's the main thing right we'll get there in the end I don't know why they don't just resign but I guess they're they're trying for the stalemate mm. let's go here Oh, I haven't got a lot of time. And we'll go here. Here. There. No! Oh, Jesus. I really need to work on that end, king and queen end game, not getting a stalemate. Ah, I guess that answers the question, why didn't they just resign? Ah, oh, let's have a look at that, that's really frustrating. <laughs> I can't believe that. Oh my god. 800 level elo, eh? Well, our accuracy was exactly the same. That's funny. Who had five great moves? Okay. I had five great moves, apparently. Shame about the stalemate. 
<laughs> no blunders, five great moves and didn't win. So let's go to the start. Black was, I was winning most of the time until the stalemate at the end. <laughs> so, oh my God. So let's have a look. These are, so book moves here, best move, okay. That's fine. This, okay. You ignored an opportunity to block an attack on a vulnerable pawn. This one. Is that what it's saying? Okay. And now it's saying the attack on the pawn would have been take the pawn, I take the knight, and then they take their... No. So I don't know what the attack on the vulnerable pawn is they're talking about there quite. Maybe let me know in the comments if you saw that better than me. Let's go to um, the next. So that was a, yeah, that was a blunder. That was a great move, apparently. This ignores an opportunity to develop a rook, so they should have castled. Yeah. This was a miss. You allowed the opponent to win a knight by adding pressure to a pinned piece. Yeah, I wondered about this when I did it, because then they're going to, they can um, do this. I was wondering about which does turn out to be the best. So, turns out that wasn't a great move. What would have been the best move though? Let's have a look. So that was not the best move. Best one was the queen, because it's just the same trade and then I could have taken with the bishop if they take. Is that the best move for them? No, I don't think, I don't think it was. Uh, it was okay, and then I would just take with the bishop. So apparently the queen blocking was best. Let's now go to the next bit, which is, so we eventually did trade with the queen. That was a great move. Then excellent move. These were fire, and there's the <laughs> inaccuracy. That was fine. So what would have been the best move here instead? I think would have been bishop there. Is that what it says is best? Yeah, to protect that square. I don't want to move the king because then I lose castling rights. So that would have been the best move there. So I should have been aware of that fork. Whenever the knight comes there, you should always really check for forks like that. I don't know how I missed that really, but there we go. Then that is an inaccuracy. Why is that an inaccuracy? You missed an opportunity to win a knight. So, okay. I mean, I thought of that. I don't. I don't really agree with the game review here. Says the eight hundred Elo player. I thought of that, but then my thinking was, I can trap the knight with the rook anyway later. And now, when I do trap the knight, they can at least take a pawn. So the the advantage is not as much for me. So I didn't really see the need to give them a pawn for that exchange. That's just me. Um, but yeah, it says apparently that wasn't the best move. And what move are we on there? Let's go to, I skipped ahead a bit there. So bishop coming out was fine, king move was there, and then that was, yeah, obviously the best move. That was a great move. That was, yeah, best move. So a lot of best moves in this section. Good move, yeah, skewer was good. Okay, this was good. So this was all good. And then it's when it gets to the end game, I think it's gonna get maybe a bit more interesting. So these moves are all standard. That's fine, that's fine. It's just gonna be the last move, isn't it? So this is all fine. So it's this, when the king gets into the corner, the mistake was bringing the king in too soon because then it couldn't move. So when it gets to this stage, I should have, I don't think a check would have been best with the queen here, but I should have moved the queen down here maybe. That's excellent, this one's best. Okay, so I need to cut the king off Okay, so when, you, when you're trying to avoid a stalemate with the king and the queen, you need to cut the king off from the side so he can only go in this file, but he's got a free square to move to. So just go somewhere where you cut that entire thing off 
there is a free square to move to, i.e. here. Then you bring the king in and there's one more or two more squares to move to there and then checkmate. So don't make the same mistake that I did and end what was clearly a winning game in a stupid stalemate. So yeah, I'm going to go and uh, mentally repair myself after losing or stalemating that game. That's it from me today and I'll see you tomorrow.